you know i was speaking on the impact of social media and news in my previous video when i spoke about uh, how you know before russia invaded ukraine everyone was talking about uh, only covid the only headlines are covid and fauci and booster shots and vaccine and deaths and okay and uh, now after russia the thing now the only update everyone's talking about is russia and it's covid and okay okay that being said now we move to the next part what are the lessons learned what is the realization or how does media manipulate you i'll give you a small example you know i uh, i happen to always check technology the new updates the new launches and and lo and behold i found a you know that uh, samsung ultra okay i was like oh nice i watched the whole video i didn't think much about it next day when i opened the youtube there were two three videos about samsung ultra oh very nice huh? i saw then they were like why you should not buy the samsung ultra oh remember this before buying the samsung ultra i was like oh, oh very interesting okay very soon on my phone i started to get special offers of samsung oh okay now well, what are the offers i was checking fine then on facebook when i opened there also oh, all the outlets that are giving you a throwaway price i was like bloody hell man damn good offers and before i knew it lo and behold samsung ultra tab I was like, oh bloody hell, man! This will be so great to have a Samsung tab, and you know, I can draw on it, and I can watch a movie, and and mind you, I don't never draw. Mind you, I never watch movies on a tab. But all this, oh wow! It became so prominent. I literally went with my wife. to the samsung showroom and i checked oh wow look at the tab oh very nice they didn't have the ultra tab but i did you know ask him how much and, and to tell you honestly i'm still having that feeling of, what if i get it man i'll get this nice keyboard and now mind you i already have 1 2 3 4 4 four tablets in the house all apple but i'm thinking like she i don't have samsung man i have all the tabs except samsung what you know what if you know there's always a what if that samsung is a nice tab che what if can change the quality of my life right hmm. just think about what i said just think how how just because i use a browser and i searched once samsung ultra now the only thing that is being bombarded and slapped on my face is samsung <laughs> and all its products and i'll tell you it's it's very effective huh? i'm not going to discount that you'll not believe how tempted i am to want to buy one even right now as i speak to you i'm i'm seriously tempted i'm so eager to want to buy and just imagine before i saw that ad i i didn't even bother and now i have not only seen the ads i've seen youtube youtubers talking about it they got a sample piece and they're like wow what a feeling and they've expressed and they've shown how you write and they've shown the features and they've spoken about it and the whole day 24/7 i'm bombarded with this and the funny thing is before this and you know how did i get the samsung tab ultra remember i had purchased the ipad mini and i checked okay is the stencil and all that and that's when i realized sheesh man i google searched uh this ipad with the stencil so the algorithm okay ipad stencil and now it is putting on my face every single time the ipad and the stencil 
Fucking hell, man. Wow. And imagine if it is doing this to me, an adult, how it must be impacting children, how it must be impacting our behaviors. And then if you look at it from a larger context, how it is impacting people's political views, people's affiliation, 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 affiliation with the, let's say, right or left, BJP or Congress, Republicans or Democrats. Just imagine, when you keep getting bombarded with this kind of information, how does it make you feel? How do you actually feel? What goes through your mind? How does it influence you? You know, even right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking, okay, I spent 40,000 and buy that tablet. I'll get 10,000 a free keyboard. Wow, a keyboard and a case. Wow. Oh, fish, man. That's such a value for money. Now, the funny thing is, I, I hardly use an iPad, uh, you know, <coughs> I'm using it to take down notes. The other one, I have games. Now, what am I going to use it for? Movies? I watch a movie on my large screen. Note taking? I take it on my iPad mini. Uh, communication? I do it through my phone. So then why do I need it? In fact, the bigger question, why am I even thinking about it? <coughs> it all comes down to how media influences you. Just imagine your favorite content creator, the person you like is telling you, I, I feel good about this and you are able to relate to that person. So don't you think you'll be influenced? Let, let's assume you like a film actor or actress. You like the person. And this person says, I'm voting for this political party because of this reason. I am. Wouldn't you believe it? Wouldn't you buy into it? Wouldn't you, if not, if not agree to them? You might at least consider. You know, and that led me to think, okay, I have a daughter. What if tomorrow, you know, forget social media, forget being in addicted to Instagram. We know that it's addictive and Facebook. What if, you know, a career path? Let's say all of a sudden she says, oh, I want to be a doctor or engineer. Because these ads of doctor and engineer are coming. Maybe she doesn't want to be that. What if, or forget that, what if singer? What if something which is totally like acting? <coughs> or let's say YouTuber. Now I'm a YouTuber. Maybe one day she'll Google such oh, being a YouTuber and she'll, wow, they're earning seven figure income. Eight. Even cryptocurrencies for that matter. How many people are talking about cryptocurrencies and endorsing it like crazy? Why? Because they're getting to hear what they want to hear. They're getting to see what they want to see. Just imagine a guy like me who is aware. I'm aware of what, what is happening, but I'm still tempted about this new Galaxy Tab. I still feel that itch, the yearning. It's bloody crazy, man. It's, it's bloody crazy how we get pulled into this temptation, into this world. And why I'm sharing this with you is, you need to be aware of this. Not my addiction to technology or spending or you. How is it impacting you? Your views about a political party, your views about life, your views about purchasing something. It's, it's really dangerous. And I'll tell you, this is not something to be taken lightly or something to be joked about. I think this is something really dangerous. Question is, how can you regulate this? How can you control it? What can you do about it? I don't think any government or anyone will do anything. The only answer is, hey doggy, hmm? keep following me. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Maybe alone. <sighs> Just be careful, that's all I'll tell you. Be careful, be aware of what is happening.
bloody crazy man, I tell you that. Shockingly crazy. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts. You guys take care.